One, two, one, two. All right, we are live. Um, howdy, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you can hear me. And uh, let's, let's just greet some people in here. So here I am at the studio. <clears throat> All right, so let's start with uh, All right, let's go through a couple things. So here's Hey guys <clears throat> All right, you guys can hear me. I just want to know if you can hear me. Okay, and um, As you start making your way You guys are asking what am I going to make? I don't know, and a big selfish reason for me doing this live stream is because I kind of wanted the the in, the intim, in, intimidating pressure of having you guys on here to 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 make something. So, um, make some tech house. Uh, tech house. Uh, yeah, I guess we can we can do some house. I really don't cover a lot of a house. I have a question. Um, is my is my, is my real name Love from Spain? Uh, wait, I have a question. What is your real name? Oh, what is your real name? Um, the one that's on my birth certificate is Ivan. Ivan Coraliza. All right. Um, are you going to make a video of the 19... Yes, I am. I'm doing the 1975. I'm going to be working on that on Friday. So by... F um, I have, I've just been catching up with some projects. So, all right, cool. All right, let's let's just see where I let's see where this ends up. I actually have some samples here from the Dark Crystal. Let me know if you guys can can hear anything. Can you guys hear hear anything? Interesting. I don't know what... This is all from the movie The Dark Crystal. Um, can you guys hear any of this stuff? People? Yeah. Alright, so... I don't know, here's the actual score. Like, this is from the score of Dark Crystal. Let's experiment. Let's get a little funky. Let's get wild. So, first thing, let's open up a, a MIDI track. Simpler. I'll probably do a lot less explaining here. I'm just kind of trying to go with the vibe. I'll check in every now and then with you guys, see what you think. But I'm gonna load this into my simpler and... That's kind of cool. So I can kind of just leave that there and leave it in slice mode. And let's lower the sensitivity a bit. I can't help but explain like everything I'm doing. I guess that's just from getting used to doing all these YouTube videos. I've, I'm just like always describing what it is I'm doing. So um, I hope it's not annoying for you guys. If anything, it's probably gonna help you kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, we can hear it, but the volume isn't very loud. Uh, it should be, let me check out OBS. Even just messing around with that, I'm going to hit this capture button. So something around, something I did around here was kind of cool. Alright. I love this function. That just kind of messing around, not having to hit the record button. And, and then what 
we'll do is I'll set the bar one, beat one here. Now what's cool about that caption function, uh, the capture function in Ableton Live is it sets the project. See, that's off. So let's say well, we're going to fix this. So it sets the project tempo to whatever tempo this is. Uh, that should be bar two right there. So uh, I'm hearing the beat going one, two, do, 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 do. So it, you can see the timing is off a little bit. Oh, what just happened? There. So let's crop this. Crop the clip. See how's everything been going? Slicing movie scores. Okay. Um, so here we go. Let's fold this. So we can, let's line all these guys up a little bit. So. Okay, so here's a cool scenario. This does not line up with 105 BPMs. But I do like the rhythm I created with these slices. And let's just transpose this up. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go to an audio track that I have available here, choose resampling, hit the record enable button, and just record. All right. So now that I've got that as audio here, So let's let me unwarp this. I'm gonna leave it unwarped, and I'm gonna tap the tempo in. So I'm got one, two, three, four, one. All right. So here's the tempo. All right. Okay. So one forty-three. There's a downbeat there. So now if I hit warp. So what we're going to do is right click here because it's trying to warp it at the same mode. So warp uh, 143 BPM from here. Now we've got it locked in to this tempo. Don't you just love when things line up? Sorry. All right, cool. So we've got it right here so let's just get these first four bars now at this tempo this sample i mean like the like the most natural thing to do would be going into like a hip-hop or trap beat so huh so let's so let's do something let's go down Let's go down two semitones. I don't know if I want to go for trap. And it's so predictable. Like, oh, I got a cool little slice sample. No, you know, no disrespect on all that. Just, I just want to do something a little different. Don't want to go here yet. So let's put a reverb directly on it. Okay. We're going to do some, a little bit of sound designing to restructure this thing. And um, possibly a delay before the reverb. So let's go with, uh, you know, it'd be cool. I don't really use often a filter delay. Let's take the reverb off. So um, here in Ableton Live, the filter delay, let's focus on one side first. So what I'm going to do is take it off sync, put it on time, make it really short. OK, introduce the right side now, take it off sync. We're at 118 milliseconds. Let's do about 86. And let's just increase this a little slightly. All right. Make it really wide that way, creating like a Haas effect. Reverb on there. And let's use this OTT. Here's why, here's why I'm doing all this. I want to create an atmospheric um, type of sound with this. Now, as opposed to just
Okay, so the reverb has added some nice sustain to the sound, right? We've got all those chops and stuff like that. Can you capture the cursor in OBS, please? Uh, yeah, give me a second. I, I don't know how I'd... Still kind of new to this whole thing. How would I do... Can I capture the cursor? How would I do that? Um, actually, if I just do this... How about now? Can you guys see the cursor? Probably see the chat, too. Yeah. Is that better? I'm... Mm -mm. No, I don't know. You guys got to let me know in the chat. I'll, I'll keep moving. So I've got this cool thing here. Mm. You know what? Let's just... And what's cool about warping the audio is alright now that we have that filter all that out like this and let's load up does, does that work better for you guys okay now we can um Yeah, just go to the drum hits and Ableton Live kick. Alright. <laughs> that was weird. Sure, we'll go in the drum rack and load that in. Sounds, drums. I want like a, a punchier. Hey, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to layer that. I'm going to just Command G so I can just layer those two kicks. I love doing it this way rather than just kind of drawing in the audio. So one shot. So. So now I'm gonna let see what what's what mood does this uh I right, take the delay off. I'm not really feeling it right now. So what mood is this evoking in me? What's like uh it's got a dark, mysterious type of thing to it. All that can even even transposing things can change. Just even one semitone makes a big difference. What if I just changed, like, so if I had it right here, because I like the melodic uh, loop. Don't forget to loop this. just kind of thinking in my head like where where um nor black and white metallica type beat a metallica type beat wow um yeah i guess it is i don't have my headphones here with me i know mortal sin so i uh i would put the headphone in um actually i guess in obs i can i can take the monitoring off
uh, hold on a second. Mic uh, monitoring off. Yeah. Yeah, it's off. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I, the thing is, uh, what songs have you done for Matas Yahoo? I wrote and produced um, Jerusalem, Time of Your Song, Indestructible, did work on the youth album. So it was all on the youth album that I, I wrote. And um, interesting fact, that's the, that's the, um, that's that's what I got nominated for a Grammy. That was the first nomination for a Grammy that I uh, that I that's that's what actually sent me to the Grammys. Um, the fiftieth the fiftieth anniversary of the Grammys. So I was able to go to the Grammys because of that Matas Yahoo Matas Yahoo album. So um, I'll tweak a little, make a little something to beat. I'll share something uh, about that whole experience. I think which is kind of cool. I think it's cool. I mean, that was such a an awesome time of my life. Um, it was actually one of the first projects that kind of like springboarded uh, my career in a really cool direction. So yeah, that was a great album. <clears throat> um, let's see now. Uh, what was I doing? So he's got that. Got a cool little kick. <laughs> You know what, like, one, two, three, four, like, we're going right back to 105, how crazy is that, like, we went right back to 105, but now f fixing it, uh, I'm feeling something like, like that, where I can uh, get, maybe like, a four on the floor, take that second kick out, and I know what I'm going to do here, for sure, and this will help kind of create the the overall vibe. Let's side chain that new pad that, that that sound to the drum rack and the kick drum. And let's get like a, a snap, a nice little snap. Does it feel like? A that's cool. It's got like a nice width to it. And then what I'll do is I'll let's pitch it up and then bring it a little closer there. I'm thinking like, um, I know it's weird, but it's like a combination of the Charlie Puth attention. I want to do like a burial meets attention it's so weird i don't know i don't know where i'm going but yeah um yeah almost like the weekend something mm. i'm not sure if i'm completely sold on that so it's cool about having that now side chained to the. So. Uh, let me get this as a guide. Right. Metronomes, guys, always use it. Duplicate loop and take this one out. Now let's let's layer that snap with another one. And then let's go into the drums. I like doing this. Let's go to percussion. Let me get some miscellaneous. Okay, that's weird. Um, rim, like a rim knob. Yeah, 
layer that with the, with the claps, with the snare. This is instantly gonna make me feel happy about the drums. Just slap a drum bus on top of there and uh, bring the boom up a little. Yeah, there you go. And then let's go to like, um, maybe like. Hey! Something like this can be cool. So put this in there. Take the same sidechain compression from that little riff that we did. Um, let's make this repitch. Okay. this part right here, right? So mm, no. Nope. Um not quite. Uh -huh. That's got a couple cool little things in there, so. So Let's repitch this at half the time. That's cool. And now, let's see you guys, we got the compression doing that. That's not, let's put the release up. So it's. See how having the release higher on that sidechain compression? Let me talk to you guys. Uh, Sadly, that double on everything makes it too distracting to really grasp the workflow. Oh. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll use these headphones, which only work on one side. You see? I love you guys. <laughs> All right, let me see what we got here. This is work. What's up, Carlos? All right, how about now? Are you guys getting the double stuff? How about now? So this is cool. And that rim knock with the, the, the snaps, I, I usually like, I've been having a lot of fun adding like a percussive, really short percussive element with my. See, so like it's got that nice bottom hit to the snaps, really cool. And then you could, you know, uh, you could layer with maybe even something a little sharp too on on the high end. But it's it's fine for now. I like I like the the texture and the vibe. Is that better? Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm jamming with the drum bus just right on top of the drum rack. And you know what? I've given up on like, I, I slap it on there, feels good. I get it where it's bumping. And then I'm like, okay, cool. When it comes time to mix, if I need to extract the kick drum and things like that, I will. Sometimes I'll just get the mix sounding in the drum rack just the way I like it. And then just move on because. So cool. We've got that release up, attack up on that. And then let's just, let's EQ a little bit of that low end. Nice. What does it sound like with that sample? And. It's too weird. Not too weird, but it's just.
Okay, so the percussion now has a lot of tonal things that are getting in the... So I like that right there, boom. So that's gonna be bar. So right here, this guy right here. So I just need, let's just get these, this guy right here. That's cool. I'm, I'm hearing, um, Ah, sorry about that. Oh, I'm I think I have this mapped to yeah. Okay. Okay, there you go. Should be good now. Sorry guys. I'm all over the place. This is really impromptu type stuff. So So we were at um C, C right. So let's just put that down. So that's cool. That would be our riff there. It's eight bars. And then just bring this down a little bit. Let me configure the cutoff. You guys doing okay now? Is everything cool now? Can you can hear? All right. So I like that the change. So show automation. Let's uh, let's bring all the. So you hear this? Let's make a nice little shark fin right there. So it goes. Right, cool. A little little deeper too. Nice. A little higher. I leave that one there and repeat this here. You guys notice I'm all in session view right now. So this is, I'm showing you exactly how I would work on a regular basis. So now let's extend these out a little bit like that. And then, you know what? Let's put an auto pen on that sample thing. Ah, we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> 
There's yeah, some Fat Boy Slim reference in there. Auto pan right here. And we're going to treat the auto pan as a gate mechanism. And the ah, uh, the phase just. Let's fix the timing of that, those notes there. Cause I don't want to run again. Hey. I feel like I'm on a phone. take you So right now, uh, let me put this idea down because I don't want to forget it. This is at the utmost importance. I like just putting these vocals idea down. I'm going to sound like a giraffe falling off a roof that will land on a wildebeest that's about to explode and give birth to a hamster. So who cares? Would you relegate So I like that second thing, the second half of that. I totally forgot you guys are there. Are you there? Can you hear me? You guys vibing with this? You feeling it? You hating it? I'll delete it right now. This is what it is. Alright, just so that you guys, so your ears won't bleed, let's do some tuning really quick. Time while I'm here. So we're C minor, definitely got a minor tone to it. So C natural minor. All right, so C minor. Not too heavy. I went way up on that one. Um, so just drop it around. Real high there, so. So we're off and uh, uh, how many bars is that? Nine should be right here. Okay. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I'll leave that there for now. Sometimes having that melody makes it really easy for me to think of whatever else I'm going to add. Um, you know.
This is the jodiendo con este OBS. All right, sorry about that, guys. I think I have the muted routed to a letter on my computer keyboard. So anytime I'm typing something up. Yes, should be good now. Now we're good. We're good now? Yes, we're good now. Should be good. All right. Uh, craziness. Yo, if any of you out there are like real stream savvy and you freaking do all this crazy Twitch stream stuff or whatever, hit me up. Let me know. I'm, I want to get my stream game on point because this is pathetic for me. All right. Um, okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, got the FM, FM8. How about some questions? Anything you guys... Got FM8 here. That freaking sucks. <laughs> you know what would be cool? There's a patch I've always loved. This always takes me back to. This is back to our um, promiscuous girl, future sex love sound days. Uh, this is a patch we called Iron Iron Horse on the FM7. It was so Danger Hands um, would use this. He would use this a lot, and then he when working on the future legs, future not future legs, but future sex love sound. So this patch here, FM7, Iron House. We used this a lot during that time. So this is that Britney Spears, Blackout, Promiscuous Girl. The, the, what was it? Right? Um, so yeah, I used this um, around that time that we were working on Future Sex Love Sounds. I also use this a lot on, there was an artist I was producing at the same time, Roisin Murphy. Uh, the album is called Overpowered. Um, yeah, it's actually one of my favorite albums I have had to work on throughout the span of my career. I, that whole that whole project in general, um, working on Overpowered and Future Sex Love Sound, that was such a highlight for me. I was really blessed to be a part of all of that. So it was really, really cool. And for those of you who are asking, my role in Future Sex Love Sound was really um, blessed to even have an, uh, just blessed to even be around the guys while they were making it. But was during, um, so I worked on Future Sex Love Sound's uh, self titled record, the first one, Future Sex Love Sound. And a lot of the vocals that Justin Timberlake would do, uh, Jimmy Douglas, while he was uh, mixing it, um, he let me kind of just add a lot of, uh, the tricked out stuff you would hear on Justin's vocals, the future sex love sound. So I was doing all that, like running my Korg Electribe EA1 through Ableton and doing all that stuff and just adding some extra productions to Jimmy Douglas's mixes for that album. Um, so that was it. Yeah. And then at that time, uh, juggling Roisin Murphy's Overpowered. And I had a lot more control. I had a lot more like say in what was going to happen there. And that just happened through the relationship I developed with Roisin Murphy. I met her when I uh, we flew out to London after working on the Future Sex Love Sounds and met with her record label and her management team. And man, just we connected right away. And uh, she is the freaking real deal. She is legit. She was like the Lady Gaga before Lady Gaga even was thinking about doing it. But um yeah, so on the Overpowered record, I ended up doing uh, Tell Everybody, Primitive, Overpowered, uh, uh, Welcome to Miami, Modern Timing. Uh, worked on the whole thing, really, alongside her. And that was the first time I collaborated with uh, Groove Armada and uh, Calvin Harris. We worked because he was working on that stuff with her as well. So, yeah. Cool. This is fun times. Good times. That's, you know what? I should get that. That's the one I should need. Cool. 
Um, take a little. Hi from Russia. Hi from Miami. Good to see you guys. How are we doing here? You guys cool? Could we? You want to keep going? Where do we leave off? All right, let's go here. Oh, I'm gonna start right here because then the vocal melody is gonna throw us off. So. No, I don't know what I was thinking, but that FM8 is so brittle, so thin. But you know what would be cool since. Again, it's freaking me. All right, let me go in here. I think I mean, hotkeys. Mute. Take this crap off. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Here we go. <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Where did I leave off of? All right. Are you guys good? You can hear me now. I took the hotkeys off. No more mute issues anymore because this thing should not be muting on its own. Have no clue why M was assigned. Well, makes sense, M muted, but I don't know when that happened. Okay, guys, we're here, we're back. This is what I was saying. <laughs> I 
That's crazy. Wowzers, like, we all make mistakes. My life is just a bigger one. Dang, man. No, it is not, Wowzers. Come on. No, you are not a mistake. Dude, stop that. Or, you know. Okay, so what I was saying is we had that first initial bass progression, which is which is cool. It's got I'll I'll use the first half here for the verses. Which is which is which is fine. Just let the verse kind of roam and chill with that. And that's a cool vibe. But then what I want to do is save that change here for a chorus because then that opens it up it, it really does open it wider for me to be like having a more melodic chorus in this so something like that where i can be i can have a pickup that goes into it so tell me where you up the down and falling now in way to my long way to it all up this down and fall you tell me away to me to not be like that put it in don't care about it just leave it so i don't forget it this is kind of my rough sketch um rough sketch pad rough sketch stuff i'll leave it there and that's a lot of times i work like that where i just throw the the vocals in there um so yeah here we go i'm like turning the volume to my speaker like it matters So now here for those changes we can put the I can kind of follow that over with the choir So like So let's do that now. Tell me Freaking metronome. So those would be the cool choir changes. Everything's off just a little bit. So, so tell me Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Uh, so tell me how you want. Tell me how. Tell me what do you find. So you can see, I just throw a bunch of freaking bunch of melody ideas what is this how does this work that's off there this guy's way off so i'm just kind of cool there let me see Now let's get into the um hats, some hats, some look at that. I'm a loop guy, as you can see. I like incorporating. <laughs> But not now. 
not today. Let's go to um, let's see if I have some of these here. So I like this and assume these guys here. Come. Well, I'll just make them happen. And tell me, tell me, tell me what if I Oof. So what I'm trying to focus in on is getting that. Just happened. There we go. It's just the latency from the streaming thing, but whatever. And let's see how that works along with. You know what my favorite thing to do on this MS-20, y'all? Do you know what my favorite... Look, I'm going to type M, and it's not going to mute me. Um, uh, how are you guys doing there? By the way, is it, am I, is, is this okay? Is it cool if I go for like an extra like 15 minutes? Are you guys good with that? I hope I hope this isn't boring anybody, kind of just like watching me. You guys good? I think you need more reverb. Um, yes, I might need just a little. Let me go back into here. The choir library is... Tell me why you're running away. Tell me why you run away. That's cool. I like that. You know what? Start throwing some vibes. So tell me why, so tell me why you run, 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 run away. So tell me why you run, 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 run away. Okay. So I like that. I'm gonna put that concept in there. Kind of so tell me when you. Does that get picked up? Pick up note. Do 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 do. Run 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 away. Run 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 away. So tell me. But I think what would be cool is if we don't let the vocal kind of like just have one run and then watch. I, I, I see it in my head. Really cool. Uh, so be like. <sighs> Timing. Just gotta work with. Got to work with what we got here. Here's a clear downbeat, should be right here. Tell me where you No. Here, it's gonna be easier for me to do it on this side of things. So, put the arrangement. So I'm missing a run. I think I, I, um, anyways, this is what I was talking about. I'm going to do this. So we have like, 
so it feels a bit robotic and not like sung. So it's so we'll do, and let's just take these guys out for a second. Just the bass line, and so it'd be right. So it's a, and then change this guy. So run, 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 and then yeah, complex flow. So and then change run, run. two down right there so it's like and then repeat it over oh yeah this is cool i like it run away. Uh, uh all right so now it's like and then do a little like pitch bend thing here. So go to complex here, go to envelope, and let's draw in this right here. So it'll be like. Yeah. So let me feel, let me find that phrase. Standing you right away. on that phrase I was doing here. Tell me when you run, 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 run it away. So this needs to be fixed timing wise. Tell, tell me when you run. Down. So tell me when you run. That's a downbeat. Run, down, run, down, run, run, run it away. So get this here. So it should be like, run, 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 run it away, and then run it away, something like that. So it's got this cool. Ah, <sighs> for the love of, don't usually have to do all this crazy vocal timing stuff. I think it's just a little special extra sauce because you guys are here. It's really the output. That I have to run through OBS. That's causing. Run, 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 run. All right. Let me just do. Let's get a like a little simple. <laughs> let me check the chat. How you guys doing? You guys doing okay? All right. Let me know. I'll, I'll check. I do check the chat uh, sporadically, but. I'm in the zone here. Let me fab filter through here. So this is with the This is all hard to do with one freaking ear, but Hey, I'm not gonna. No complaints. Alright, and then. A little boost of that. And then let's get rid of this guy here like this. And DS. DS the vocal. I like this one. For this type of tone. And then... Got a lot of the reverb on there, right? Let's put a little slap baggage. Um, let's just use echo. Echo on C, dry and wet 100%. Time up to like.
I can't, I can't really hear what's happening on the left speaker because, well, let me just set this to mono really fast because um, I only have one headphone working right now. <sighs> really quick. Alright. Sync. Let's go back to that chorus vibe, because that's where I wanted to hit up. And so right, these guys again. So a little back here. All right, all right. Check this out, guys. So we've got this here. How we doing? Can you please do a video of can we guess? Uh producer problems. <laughs> Messed up headphones. Okay, so let's what do we got? Eight bars. Okay, let's highlight these eight bars. You guys watch closely here. This is gonna be some cool stuff. So we've got this as our main chorus phrase kind of thing. Let me hit the record button. Because right now at this stage of what I'm doing, I wanna send I've got the core. I've got the core basis, right? The skeleton. So I'm gonna hit record button on my arrangement view. Ah, crappity craps. Hold on. I forgot. Don't have anything playing on this track, because then it will. There you go. I was recording over my edited. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we're gonna live in our arrangement view. Okay, we got our core elements here. So let's bring in that. Woo! And double this. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna highlight this. Let's. Bring this down here, and the cool thing is Ableton will copy all the plugins and the patches with that as well. And let's just highlight these guys here. And I want to go one, two, three, up. So let's do a little bit. I just went up semitones here. And keeping this note here. Uh, 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 it's it. so. Just need to get that much here, like that. So. Running away. Um, so, doing on it. Um, man, could you please listen to it twice? Okay, in my head, you guys could tell me this weird. There's a song that I'm hearing in my head. Um, uh, it's by a band called, it's a group called Air. It's a group called Air and the song is called Run. I had to go, you know, go figure it. But it has a really cool, run, 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 run. It has this really cool thing on there. I'm almost tempted to just sample it and have it underneath this. So, um, let's do another audio track here. 
And what I'm going to do with this one is run. This one's going to be I'm going to trim away a lot of the fat here. Run. Shift. So. Right, and chop it off like that. So lower it. Right here. So. Sounds weird. It's not exactly what I'm trying to get across. Um, okay, so. Okay, that's what I need. You know what? This would be the best way to do it. Just copy all these guys. Let's put them on another audio track. And let's use the vocoder. Which one would you guys like me to use? The Ableton vocoder, Ovox, or Isotope vocal synth? You guys let me know. Uh, you guys let me know. All three, maybe? Isotope. Okay, first mention gets the gets the pick. Uh, where the crap are you? Here we go. All right. Technically, we could use both. I'm just saying. Ooh, Ableton vocoder for the win. Look, we'll do both. All right, we'll do both, and I'll show you how that's going to work. I'll start with the vocoder first and then I'll just do the same, try to. So um, for this to work, let's create a carrier signal. Instruments will be analog, uh, wavetable. Sawtooth. So, so I'm, I'm thinking. So let me play this here. Sawtooth, say there. Resonance. Let's cut off some of the low end of that sawtooth. So we got a nice, a nice thin sawtooth. Unison classic. So it's gonna give us some doubling there. And shorten the release because I want a nice short. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And then set oscillator two. Let's pick noise, white noise. Because a lot of that white noise is going to cut. Um, and some sub harmonic. That's going to help get some bass tone in there. Mute the wavetable. Go to the audio track that has the vocoder on there. Go to the carrier external. And then let's set it to the wavetable. Okay. Short release on that. And now let's just loop this section here. And this should be. <laughs> And let's just solo the this. Oh. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. And then let me get the the lead vocal along with it, and raise up this guy here. So this is gonna be. Um, that won't be the full progression. So it's gotta be. Down to the C minor. And then, well, so we don't really need that because we're just going to keep doing this right here like that. 
that's what I'm going. I'm going for that air run song, which just so ironically happens to be. That. And now let's take the lead vocal off. What the crap is happening to my life? I'm gonna need a metronome or else I'm just flying blind. To me Okay, so I can play the chords. <clears throat> I want to actually play them there. Alright, so I will actually just hold out the chords because I want the, the choppiness to come from the audio. There you go. Those are the chords there. and Let me hear what it sounds like on the KRK's case real quick, just real quick. So that sounds cool. Let's see what it sounds like going back to now, that alternating bass line. Okay, now I'm gonna go to bass one that we did way, way in the very beginning when we were kind of inspired there, okay? So there's bass one, leave the drums. This is why it's so easy for me to, once I get my core idea, I can just kind of scale back and just kind of work it like this and see what this sounds like here. So then we have, does that make sense, guys? This is how we just kind of glued all that together. Um, so now I put all this down here. So and again, these are just my rough idea sketches, but now I've got my skeleton, so I start dropping the markers. So this is like first verse. And then I might want to flip it up in this section vocally. <laughs> Ah, back to the headphones. Let me hear in the context. Oh, we're missing the... We're missing the heart behind this thing here, so it's...
think it can go again. this off right here like this uh, and cut this off here like that do something like this so it's <laughs> And then here, here we can change. So now we can go. I think I'm, I'm think I'm cool. To, so like to introduce that G sharp. That. And then back to the G sharp. Yeah, there you go. So that can, that would be cool. Uh, where is that at the second part here? So there, like that. I think that 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 fits better. What do you guys think? We can go in here and start. So now let's get let's get let's get a little cry cry. So let's do right here. Right, bring it right over here like this. So. So like it's gonna be a Woo. Woo. Ooh. Yeah, you guys vibe with that? Cause that is that's dope. I'm I'm really really Love, love, love the, the little, all I'm doing is I'm automating the auto pan, right? So just. Boom. And right there, we got to boom, boom. Right, let's get that hit right here. Um, I'll just take it from this one. Boom, boom. Cool thing too is start st stretching it out like. Yeah. Thanks guys for jumping on. Um, I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. I'm hearing in my head I want to put it down um, oh crap uh, I think we're a little over 15 uh, is it cool you guys are hang for a little bit <laughs> all right I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a moment ask answer any questions I'm gonna just kind of focus my attention to you guys right now um, so so let me know uh, anything you guys might want to ask or stuff like that. Uh, who do you see on this? Who do you 
who do you hear on this? I, I mean, I could definitely hear. It's a lot of a lot of Russian. I wish I knew how to read Russian. Um, we can. Is this video staying up? No, I think I'm gonna take it down after. Oh, shit. You guys want me to leave it up? Someone's asking, what's on the master bus? Ready? Nothing. The only, oh, snap. Crap. The only thing on my master bus was... Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I've been feeding this to you in mono. Um, I'm such a bad friend. I really am. I've been switching this thing in mono this whole time because my left ear isn't working on these freaking headphones. I left my other headphones uh, at home. I was doing some um, work on the laptop there. But right now, there is absolutely nothing on the master bus. And that's cool because I'm trying to just really grapple with getting the sound right. And like I said earlier, on my drum rack, I just slapped the drum bus on there. And I used to be really really crazy about like no i i have to have the kick snare separate all that listen honestly at the end of the day if it's banging I mean, you guys are, are 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 liking it um if it's if it's um if if it's if it's if it's i'm trying to read on like squirrel if it sounds good if it ain't broke don't fix it so yeah um, I, I like it like that and I just start incorporate loops at this t at this stage right now I'm starting to balance and blend all these elements together and yeah you'll see that the master bus is starting to clip and things like that well then if when that's the case I can just grab all the tracks and just kind of bring it down or just bring it down and then bump the volume on my speakers or just headphones and still get that same effect without crushing the master bus here right now and that's kind of the, that's kind of the thing here um, do you pre-arrange this music before the live video or you work on create all this in real time? Uh, this was done in real time, you guys. Uh, if you jumped in from the very beginning of this live stream, we started from scratch. As a matter of fact, where did we start from? We started from this sample that I, goodness gracious, and then I, re I deleted the track here. You know what? Let me hit save. I'm actually vibing with this. Uh, it was live, 10 projects. Um, is all the, I'll put it on there. I'll put it on my new EP, my new EP that never got released. Um, dope live stream right now. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this is all from scratch. This is all from scratch with one broken headphone. Uh, yes, there he goes. Thank you, Jamie. So I grabbed the sample from the Dark Crystal. Don't even know how that happened. Um, where? Why was I there? Why? Why did I even go there to begin with? Oh, I was here, and I used uh, a score from the Dark Crystal, the Prophecy. So I literally grabbed this, put it into a simpler, started just kind of messing around. Um, so, uh, as a Dini or a, was it, did you teach any super producers to use Ableton? Yeah, I've, I've, um, I kind of brought Ableton into the scene for Danger Hands, um, the Timberland crew, um, Jimmy Douglas, um, a good friend of mine, Kevin Rubin. I, I was kind of like the Ableton Live evangelist. I was using Ableton Live for like version six, and I was very, um, I was using it, you know, I was producing pop. So, a lot of people at the time were like either using Pro Tools and Logic, and when I would bring my setup, they're like, "What on earth are you using? It looks like you're you're working with Crayolas or something like that." The program looks like it's sponsored by Crayola crayons, and um, and and yeah, so I uh, yeah, I've been been doing that, and and every time I would produce or work on a project, and there's a fellow producer involved, um, there was like you know, Y Ableton, and and yeah, so. Had a long conversation with Ableton about those those moments. Can you do a discount for us in BD Academy? There are plenty of discounts that BD Academy members do have um, uh, for like we're partnering with IK Multimedia and uh, Emastered, and we're doing a lot more partnerships with some big brands in 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 the near future, so that you guys can take advantage of some really cool discounted pricing. We're also doing something with XLN Audio. 
So I'm going to be giving away, um, you know, RC20, Addictive Drums, or XO. A lot of their products we're going to start to be doing. We're going to do a cool partnership with Excellent Audio on their stuff. So, yeah. So if you want more information, just definitely hit us up at, uh, you know, visit beatacademy.com. Sign up. Check it out. You know, sign up for a membership. See if, you know, see if it's right for you and then go from there. What do we do? Vocal chain, please. Okay, you want to see the vocal chain. So let's check out the vocal chain. Now, guys, if you remember from scratch, this is me recording through this microphone. And this microphone is a mic that I picked up from a website called Mic Parts. I picked this up uh, uh, maybe eight or almost like seven, six years ago, seven to six years ago. And I bought it so I just needed a mic to to travel around. I A good friend of mine recommended to check it out. And I, I bought it. It's... Uh, it's supposed to like be made with the same parts as a U87. Um, it's okay. I think you know for like the price point, it was it was it was good. I I prefer the the warm audio WA87 better, and so that's that's a microphone I use when I record vocals. I have a an S um, SE a Studio Electronics one here and a, and a and a Rode NT something mic here as well. And uh, I've been just using this to, to, to broadcast with and to do all the stuff with and, and my videos with. So um, I'm running that right here from this. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the Waves Tune, put in the key signature that we're at. The next thing, I'm just EQing. And this is really quick. Like, I'm just doing this. Um, I'm just doing this like really like on the fly, just take some frequencies out. So I'm not even like homing in. And in the mixing process, this is where I'll probably spend the most time. Then I, I use a, I use this nice little, I use the Poltic EQ as a character EQ, almost like a sweetener. I use my Fab Filter EQs or Ableton Live EQ8 as a surgical EQ. There's a difference between these surgical EQs, like the, the graphic EQs, and EQs like this that are modeled after analogs, they have an imprint of some character on it. I love the Pultic, beautiful, amazing. It does what it says it, it does. Um, so I, I kind of go to 60 and you're like, dang, why would you ever want to boost 60 Hertz on a vocal with the Pultic? Well, that's because the Pultic and the way it's characterized gives a nice little bump towards the low 100 or something like that. And it just gives it a little nice boost in uh, uh and the low that I think I I, I I would like. Then I kill some of the the some of that 3K range that my voice in particular has that I don't like. And then just a little, un poquito compression, a little bit of compression here. And then I just DS it. What would really make this cool, what would really kind of... And then I drench in a reverb on a send here. That's what gives that weekend vibe. Send D. There's nothing on the other sends, guys. It's just A... B and then my template starts with these sends just just to have them. Um, so reverb on D and a little bit of uh, I should put this on eighth note. I want eighth note delay on the vocal. So where is that vocal part? It's pretty good. We're we're almost done there. We've got a cool arrangement here. Tennessee, coming back to full now what would what I really should be doing is just to kind of warm this up. And again, I'm trying to do this with one ear right now. So I'm gonna take some of that low end and then some of the high end away from that reverb. Check out check out. Once I take the low end and the high end away from the reverb, the delay becomes more noticeable. Did you see that? So that was um that was pretty cool. Gracias Nex. Uh, do you print effects on your initial vocals recorded or do you sing in dry and then all your processing after? I always sing in dry and process after. I don't have any, I'm not using an Apollo or anything like that where I'm printing my effects. Um, and this is not even running through my Neve and the, the warm audio pre and the 1176. This is literally straight into my Focusrite um, interface. Do you ever use Arvox? Yeah, I use Arvox. Here, when it comes to knowing which compressor, which plugin to you, what should I use? There's two schools of thoughts here. You get the plugins that surgically do what you need to be done. For instance, if this vocal is too bright, 
I just need a basic EQ that can lower the brightness, eliminate the highs. If the vocal is lacking some kind of saturation or character to it, where like maybe a specific type of EQ um, adds a bit of color where there's adding some drive and distortion, then that's when you go ahead and you choose to use a specific type of vintage or uh, a, a comp uh, comp or EQ or device, a plugin that has some kind of signature thing in there as well. So those are the two categories. What do I need to do? Well, there's a lot of rumble going on. So I don't need to find a EQ that has, you know, the spit of a camel that was preserved for 18 years in a desert. No, I just need a freaking EQ, basic stock EQ that can eliminate the low end. They're all going to do the same thing. So that's, uh, th that's, that's what I'm talking about. And that's how I, that's how I go about choosing my, my plugins. I'm like, oh yeah, there's that plugin that has this, this little, this character to it, which I think will be kind of cool there. So when you get a plugin, take at least two to three weeks just to get to know the sound of that plugin, what it's really doing, because you can get, um, you can get bogged down with the overwhelming need of, I got to get another plugin. I got to get another EQ. I got to get, they're all freaking doing the same thing. So don't be, don't be caught into that illusion. The question really is, what am I, what, is, what is this sound in need of? Does it need color and characteristics along with adjusting the EQ or does it just need to be cleaned up and fixed? Then you just go with the stock plugin stock EQ. Joyce Grasper, Brazil watching you. Tutu bang, bon dia. Gracias. Um, why don't you do a studio tour? I'm thinking about it. So thinking about it. Once I guess definitely when all this stuff um, leaves. Uh, QP, Q, QP view. Will you do a mastering tutorials with non-stock plugins? Yeah, actually my whole mixing and mastering course in the Beat Academy um, website covers all that how to master with stock plugins and how to master without stock plugins and the difference between uh automated mastering and things like that how do you stay moving forward in your track without getting stuck or tired on the track just live stream on youtube and have a whole bunch of people watch you make a track no i'm kidding um honestly like to be honest with you i don't think this would have gone the way it did without you guys here and i'm very much a um you know, I'm, I'm very far on the spectrum of extroverted. So I kind of like having that pressure being people around. But um, yeah, I, I kind of just, <sighs> yeah, inviting people in the process has been a big thing for me personally. It always kind of gets me motivated moving. But if I'm stuck on something here, um, I kind of just take a moment to step away, listen to something, and then come back to it and see what what, what sticks. Are you going to do a beat breakdown on the 1975? No, forget it. I'm never, yeah, I am. Uh, Mint Cream. I am going to do the 1975. Hopefully, I can have time to do it on Friday. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, yeah, it usually takes me about an, an hour to recreate it. And then it takes me like two and a half or three hours just to film and edit the freaking thing. So, um so yeah and, and and some people ask me why don't you do the whole why don't you remake a song from top to bottom the arrangement and the verse part because honestly it would just be so much uh on my plate with the current schedule that i have to recreate all of that stuff um in that short amount of time it would it would just take me it would take me longer so you know it would take me longer to do it and then therefore it would just take me longer to publish it so rather than have a, a video i'm trying to get a video out at least once a week if not once a week and a half and i you know i apologize ahead of time for the lack of that schedule I'm, I'm really trying to do my best to balance that out balance life balance that the projects i'm working on because i'm giving a lot of energy time and energy over to my beat academy platform so i'm really trying to like balance all this stuff um and i'm going to be honest with you, the 1975 one's a bit tricky too so i'm, I'm excited i should be diving into that friday so i'm going to spend friday morning and so by Friday evening, I'll have that video out for you guys. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Um, is there other support club other than project files and access to samples, etc.? 
I don't, I'm not sure what you're asking, per Peroni. Birikan, you still need to learn a little Russian, and then there are a lot of us here who admire you. Niet. Drustruken fratilien. I don't know what I just said last time, but I know Niet was no. Uh, but Niet. Yeah, having a name, my, my first name is Ivan, you would think, and I look Russian, so you would think I should I should get Russian under my belt. Um, I'm Cuban Puerto Rican, even though I look Russian. I speak Spanish. Um, I have family in Puerto Rico. I live here in Miami, so kind of like Spanish is a prerequisite. Can you play the beat one more time? Yeah, you guys want to hear where we're at? Uh, do you want to go back to the beat? We can kind of finish it up. I don't know where we're at with time-wise. Let me check how I'm doing on time. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. Hey, if you guys found this video helpful and this was cool hanging out, um, let other people know. Spread the word. Let me know. Uh, so where we're at here. Let me take it from this verse vibe here. So we need to scoot this in. Oh, so now, now you're not going to hear it in mono anymore. So enjoy it in stereo. Tennessee. Tennessee. Real quick, let me f let me fix this. It's driving me kind of crazy. Check this out. This beat. So just want to get that part there, like, and then leave those guys out like this. So. All right. So then let's delete that, and then copy those two bars over like this. So now it has a. And then just like that one hit there. So let me copy this over. Cause, and we got to come up with like a more hype pre-chorus before that. Because it's just coming, the chorus is just coming too abrupt. So. Woof. That change there is so dope. I should go right here to this. And then watch, I'm gonna grab this part here like this. Hold shift. Um, grab this part here and hold shift again. Warp marker, oh, limit. Uh, So let me just grab this guy then. Duplicate this over, hold shift, bring it up. double this we'll double that course out here and then um let me start all the way from the beginning well we should actually have just like delete that time there we're at 220 okay and then duplicate that twice so 
just as a placeholder. And then I'm going to grab all this over here and shift that over. And that should give us, bam, radio money, 310. That's a good skeleton right there. So here's the arrangement for that whole song that we've got. And this is going to be our bridge placeholder. This is where... Where's my... So I was thinking... So, so that's why I grabbed this other one here. Okay. Because I'm hearing... Just really quick. So tell me when you run, 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 run. So let's grab those harmony parts and we're going to do some like something like this. Run. Dang, that timing is just so crazy stupid. Run, 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 run. Run okay, so. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's duplicate this track. Delete that and double that. Duplicate that, and then there we go. Run, 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 run. Sorry, guys, I have to move all this just because of the coronavirus delay. Somebody's really early here. Yeah, this guy. And there we go, like this. Run, 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 run. So what's cool is this, check this out. I'm gonna grab this first lead. Run, 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 run. Watch this. Snap that there. Run, 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 run. Okay, move that there. And then extract the groove. Extract the groove. You guys with me? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and trim all these like this. Make sure they're trimmed to the same point. We've extracted the groove, so I've taken the timing of this one. He's going to he's going to be the mold in which I create. Go to the next one here, Groove, Audio 1, and Commit. Run, 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 run. Go to this one, Groove, Audio 1, Commit. Run, 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 run. Right? Run, 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 run. That one just, run, run. that one didn't work out that well. Run, run, run. run. Oh, it's because this one needs to go right there. Run, 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 run. And right there. Run, run. Okay, so how many do we have? We have one, two, three. Oh, I deleted that one by accident. So. Run, 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 run. Okay, so then pan left, pan right. Pan left, pan right. Do the hokey pokey and shake it all around. Group all these guys together. These will be ill harm. Come on, guys. Today I, I was thinking, should I make a live stream? Run, 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 run. A little bit of delay. That. Run, 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 run. And then here's what I'm saying. This is what I was talking about earlier, right? So EQ, I just need to surgically cut the low end. I don't need run, run, run. So I'm just using my EQ A for that. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. And 
and some highs, right? And then compression, this doesn't really matter. Anything, whatever, whatever my mouse clicks to first. Uh, sure, why not? That was the wrong thing. But hey, that that's nice. Um, we'll go with the LA too, eh? It's just smooth. Too much all over the emphasis. I'm looking for. It's hard to tell with one freaking ear, but you guys can let me know since you're hearing it over there. Now let's see what this sounds like. So you have you see all that empty space here that we have um i don't know why the waveforms are missing oh that happens sometimes when you save it and you have to just kind of reopen the session really weird but um so i'm here like some I don't know what I'm hearing. Is is that what I'm hearing? What am what am I hearing? Who am I? I don't know. Get your Zoolander. All right, guys. I'm gonna bring this to a. Someone said, use your stock plugins on background filler stuff and leave your fancy plugins for main elements. That's a good way to do it, I guess. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, here is, okay, we're gonna wrap. Y'all know what time it is. Let me try this out. Let's see what, I just want something that can bridge that gap there. Okay. Something that allows. Um. Nothing. Crappity craps. Uh, a... Okay, fine. Don't play. I guess you're really shy because everybody's here watching you. All like, what? Ugh, ain't nobody got time for this. Okay. That's fantastic. Every time. Okay. So what if, if it was, so let me see if I can just, let's grab that sample side chain. And let's just loop this. Harmonies, vocal, bass, drums really quick yeah somebody said radiohead earlier and that's been lodged in my mind so i'm just kind of want to put that in like So yeah, so we'll have that in there to kind of bridge the gap after that vocal part there. And now, what do you guys think? So here we go, we've got this guy in now. What's cool is I'm gonna go in here, the guitar settings, take off the amps and everything. I'm gonna use. Wow, this is this is a long live stream. Sorry guys, it's taking so long to get all this done. Um, VST, vamos a VST, y overloud 
the THU slate. I like using this one, it's not bad. And I'm gonna use a clean. Do I have? I, I think I said this already, right? No. Lightning crashes. Let's go to favorite mixing plugins. You know, you know what time it is, y'all. It's time for some of this retro color. The wobble. That sidechain really helps create that cool character because with it now is. Bell? All right, guys, so we're going to bring this to a landing here. And then here's that bridge part. So, ready. <laughs> So yeah, I'll what and then at this point with the skeletons like it's hard for me to judge. I only have one freaking ear working, so I'll usually layer this whole thing with like here watch. Let's duplicate this track. So this would be the MS20, and I'll call this sub. Alright. And then I will then this is now now I'm starting to pass the baton. I'm passing the baton from my production mode, my producing songwriting mode to a little bit of the mixing and the sound designing stuff. So get a serum wave table, whatever. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to use a sine wave here. Um, bro, what on earth did I just do to my life? Basic sign. <sighs> here we go. So let's go an octave lower, two octaves lower actually. There's this, there's the bass. Okay. And one thing that really makes a bass sing really well is just some harmonic distortion. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of that and then use the EQ to shave some of that off. All right, you guys see that? Layer that with the bass now. Now go back to that MS-20, use a regular EQ-8. Take some of that high end off, the low end. Right, and now we've got a nice sub. And all, since I duplicated the track, all the MIDI notes are already there. What a huge difference without it. got this other melody that's coming so
alternate melodies what that is some days some This is me, I'll kind of rotate with melodies and see what's gonna really stick the most. Someday, someday. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys decide. We've got that melody I just put down, and then we have the, let me highlight this one in yellow. And then we have this guy, along with the. that pickup note too so it should have the it's really weird not being able to see the waveform where are you this is really weird um wow Okay. So we've got that one. So you guys are saying combine both. Let's see what that sounds like. Here is. I got it. Let me color this one a different color so I know. Select track content. Okay. All right, so check this out. So here is. We could probably, yeah, we could combine it. If we just do, let's say, let's take the harmonies out for a second. I like my vocals being below all the instruments, so. Just doing a little organizing here, some spring cleaning. So And then right there we can bring in the right something like that you can come in right here. Um, so it can be like the A and B, kind of like. Okay. Mm. Well, e although this melody is good and it works, let's see what it sounds like. Maybe putting it in after this pre section here. Um, you're you're getting front row center to my whole process. That's the thing. I could probably have all these ideas, and it's just how to stick to. Tennessee. I want to 
want to definitely do that that panning that automation we did right here oh we got to bring that in because it's so dope i keep saying tennessee It's just it's, it's singing along with that that verse. It's it has to pick up a little more. So if we're leaving here like. We need something that picks up. So I'll just do a little thing. Two, three, man. You tell with the lights, tell me what the phone was staying. Hey, with the night for the food to stay. Something like that, right? So then I'll pull like this and Okay, holy end aquí nosotros estamos Okay, sorry. That's my Cuban. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a really cool thing. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it just like that. Um, I'm going to read some of your questions. I'm reading all this stuff live. Um, okay. You, you saw how we did that auto pan. You guys let me know in the chat room. You guys, do you guys vibe with this? Is this, are you guys vibing with it? You can let me know by typing the letter Y in the chat and then entering it. Um, or have we gone completely off the deep end and I should just delete this now and never return to it. <laughs> Change the Tennessee with Hennessy and you're good. All right, I think we're good. Hennessy, dripping, dripping, dripping all, all over me. Um, I hope I'm not dripping with, with Hennessy. That's just weird. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, right now we're at 16-bit, 44-1 sample rate. Definitely, definitely vibing. Okay, so here's here's what I want to do. You saw how we use that auto pan. You saw how we use the auto pan to create those cool little stutters that are going on in that sample. Okay. Something that's really cool is you can also use the auto pan to determine the actual melodic phrasing of melodies and things like this. So um, here's this vocal line that we just did, right? That we just put down. You tell with the lights, tell me what if I was stay. But look what happens when you put an auto pan on it and you set the rate. I want to delete the automation here. It's so you're getting to f accent. Um, you're getting the accent, accented notes, or in this case, the quarter notes. You're accenting those and you get to see, okay, what phrases, what words, what part of my melody are being accent on the quarter notes. And it's really helpful to kind of lock stuff in to... And messing with the auto pan where it's not panning left and right, but just causing it to use as a gate and then changing the amount. You can also change some of the influence or like the, the accent overall of a, of, a, of a vocal take or anything really. You can use the auto pan as a really strong tool to create that um that kind of effect so uh my question was what kind of support if we get if we join beat academy is it a product you're selling or who better to ask oh, okay um so beat academy is my platform that provides a well it provides courses uh, the whole goal for that is really for me to be able to walk alongside you and help you take your next step with your music i know that sounds like a tagline that I've rehearsed over and over. It's because it is, and I try to boil it down to one sentence. But I do that in the light of providing resources such as courses, and most importantly, a community that in which I'm always involved in. Uh, but I do these live things that you guys are witnessing right now. I do this twice a month uh, on the back end of my, uh, my BD Academy. As a matter of fact, I even take your ideas 
and I actually fold out and build out songs from that here. Um, I also do sessions where I listen to your music and give you critis, uh, you know, critical feedback onto what you should be doing with it and things like that. So we do that on the back end of the community. Um, so if you if you're looking for more of that kind of mentorship access and coaching, definitely check out beatacademy.com and get some more info there. Um, but yeah, and then you have access to uh, some of the exclusive stuff that I put on there, sound packs. Every sound pack I do, I don't sell it. I put it on the back end for my, well, I'll have some to sell in the future, but all my members get access to it anyways. So, um, he's asking, is, is it F, don't you think it's better to instruct a singer for those points you want to accent? Yeah, obviously it's much better to have a singer sing those accented parts, but you can use the auto pen to really do some cool stuff with already recorded melodies or even just new parts and stuff like that. Um, just, uh, yeah, that's just a, a, a thought there that you can, it's just a cool thing to experiment with. <clears throat> uh, he will delete the project probably, but not the stream. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this project. I'm not really going to do anything with it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I like it, though. I'm vibing with it a lot. I'm going to just flush this out, find an artist, and then kind of retrace the steps here. Somebody that can that can write, rock this well. And then, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Um, and still, there's nothing yet on the master bus. Nothing on the master bus because I'll, I'll start to get there in a little bit. All right, one last thing. One last thing, and then we'll end it. I promise. Are the courses targeting just Ableton users or anything? No, anything. As a matter of fact, some of the courses are highlighted in Studio One, Logic. I demonstrate a lot of the vocal production processes in Logic and Studio One, uh, even some in GarageBand. Uh, for those of you who... Um, yes, Ableton is my wheelhouse. It's my... It's my bread and butter. It's my weapon of choice. But I go, uh, you know, I go, I painstakingly make sure that the principles I'm sharing could be applied all across the board. So, yeah, um, that's that's the most important thing for me. That e even though I'm sharing, you know, I'm using an Ableton, I'm making sure that a lot of the things are transcribed over. Maybe some of the things like when it comes to warping and m nudging, I try to do a little. I try to do that very. Uh, minimal because I know that certain things like that are pertaining and exclusive to the way Ableton Live works. Good to see you, Sam. All right. Um, okay. So, upon popular request, I will leave this live stream up so you guys can check it out. Just do me a favor and, and share the channel, spread the word. Let's get a lot of people to watch and all that good stuff. Um, I think Banks would, would work with that. I want to, I want to get like, I like maybe getting a female vocal on this. That would be really cool. Cause you have the, the female, the lightness of the female vocal along with like the, the dark heaviness of this. It's pretty, pretty dope. Um, okay. Yeah. So one thing is, so here we have this bridge part. So we've got this guitar that we put down with the electric sunburst. All right, what I'm about to show you guys is gonna be pretty sweet. All right, so check this out. Uh, so here we have, um, just for, I know you don't have to do this, but I, I took out the plugins. I'm gonna freeze this track just for the purpose of showing you in live stream. And freezing is just gonna hold the processing in place. So it frees it up so you can use it. You can have more processing to be used. But I'm going to flatten this track, so that's just going to convert it to audio. And then I'm going to drop the plugins back on there. I do this so that I can have more ability to tweak it. Okay. Okay, so that's that guitar part, right? So hit the letter R to reverse that. 
So we're coming off of this section here, and then we're gonna go right into the reverse, and that's gonna be my bridge. <laughs> So if we're going off of that. So I'm, I'm leaving the. So that E or that E flat. Back to the F, you can go. So what I'm gonna do is just lower, I wanna lower the cutoff for this section so it helps me write the better progression. So now we're coming off of that F, that e. So don't wanna repeat the same progression I'm doing for the chorus, just. It is starting there on that E. So let me do this first. Let me find the. Uh, so we've got. Yeah, it's good going to the F. So keep the guitar in. And let's. Actually, I'm sorry. I meant. Keep the guitar out. Let's head into new territory. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going. That note is like so. We'll just chill here and go down to. And if I no, see that kind of E sharp makes it too too happy on that thing. There you go. Why did that happen? Okay. And then we'll lower the, so there you go. And now put the guitar back in. Check out those harms. I like the harmony parts. Um, put the harmonies there. Duplicate it. And then we can put like a. Uh, not really happy with that change. That. You know, it'd be better. If I just hummed or just did a little ooh thing there, coming up. one, two, one, two. I do this a lot just to actually get this mock thing there. All right, 
So then we obviously we got to fix this timing because you know it's going to sound crazy. Put it here. And for this type of thing, you just straight up lace it with reverb right on there. Let's take some of the low end off. Delay first. Let's do a little delay. Echo. I'm not sure why that's going on. And reverb directly after that. Just soak it. Reverb. And then use a filter, take out that high end. Oh, and chorus. I put the chorus after the reverb, so it's going to sound like. And then we're going to get the guitar, put them back, but flip the order. So. So I have this plugin. Let me show you. Does this thing work? Wow, I still have this thing. Does it work? That's a whole other question. Uh, dang it. That sucks. I think I have to reallocate the, where the hard drive sounds, but I used to use this guy a lot. Um, so, I'm trying to get this. Um. <sighs> absence? Absence might work. So, like. Like a dying whale kind of thing. Alright, so. I think my computer just died. Okay. Screaming skies. Screaming leader. That's, that'll work for now, and then we can do. So here's the progression. It's like with one ear, it's just driving me crazy. But all right, so we're good. That's that's been the um, that's been it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I hope this was cool. Listen, if you aren't subscribed to this channel, you should do so because I do these randomly pop up, and that way, when you're subscribed and you hit the like button, the algorithm will let you know that I'm doing these things. Also, if you're interested, I do these on a regular basis for my Beat Academy members. Um, yeah, so once a month, I'll listen to some of the music that you're creating and kind of help guide you through what you should you know, be doing on it, listen to it, critique it. And then I also bring in some guest, uh, guest speakers. We've had Danger Hands, uh, Jimmy Douglas, uh, um, Rick Barker, uh, Austin from Make Pop Music. We've had a lot of guys jump on and... Uh, and uh, 
and it's been it's been really really cool so yeah um if you guys want more info and how to get involved and just be a part of that definitely check out beatacademy.com that's why i'm doing these things so hopefully friday i will have the 1975 thing. Hopefully, I'm trying to work that out, but I'm trying to do the 1975 thing. Um, uh, I'll I'll wrap this up. So, hey there, sis. Um, so, yeah. As you can see, this is we've we've gotten the whole skeleton down. Would have had it a little earlier if I didn't have a lot of the technical issues, but. At this stage right now is where myself or even before this, while things certain things are looping and certain things are being creating, um, you know, myself or the artists are, are really, uh, you know, holding down on the lyrical concepts and just trying to figure out, uh, you know, lyrically where to go and a lot of some changes melodically for the melody. And this could even probably speed up, but you know, that's that's the beauty of the way, the reason why I love live is because of the flexibility of that workflow. It's like, hey, you know what? I just need to change the tempo. Bam, okay, 109, everything, everything will work out there. Um, what does it sound like, you know, a step down because it's too high in my register, whatever. I have so much flexibility with being able to um, to get this down. So it was really cool. This is, I, I really like this, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna keep exploring, uh, send this out to a couple artists I think would do really well. Uh, that this would be a really good fit for so thank you guys so much for your time uh, you know I hope all of you are staying safe during these uncertain uh, you know these crazy times right now um, let me know yeah, you know thank you thank you guys so much for checking this out and uh, yeah I will see you later let me uh, take care <laughs>